Presiding officer, to ask the First Minister for what reason two ferries which will serve Isla are being built in Turkey? First Minister. In line with relevant procurement legislation, the ferries currently being built for service on the Isla routes were awarded following a full and open tendering process led by CIMA, which of course is the procuring authority. Uh, the bid received from the Shard represented the best value for money in terms of quality and price. Liam Kerr. Thank the First Minister for that answer, but the Climate Change Committee's report last month wasn't just critical, it was devastating in exposing this government's failures on the environment and emissions. So is the First Minister comfortable that the steel for these two ferries is coming not from a Scottish steel mill, there's one around 40 miles from here, for example, but rather from China, the world's largest polluter whose steel sector is the second largest contributor to its emissions? First Minister. Well, firstly, on the, the procurement decisions, uh, you know, it's over recent weeks, uh, the leader of the Members' Party has uh, question me in this chamber, rightly so, and uh, seemed to suggest that somehow we hadn't followed uh, proper procurement policies uh, in the award of other ferry contracts. So it's really important uh, to stress that in all of these matters, uh, we comply with relevant procurement legislation. In terms of uh, the steel, uh, of course, these are uh, that is a, a matter for the company uh, that has the contract. Uh, the contract awarded as a standard international shipbuilding contract and as such, the decision regarding materials and equipment lies with the shipyard. However, I understand that the shipyard uh, may originally have intended to source steel from uh, Ukraine, but obviously have had to look uh, elsewhere. So these are decisions that the shipyard uh, will take, um, and I'm sure they will apply uh, all necessary uh, objectives to the decisions that they reach. Jenny Minto. Thank you, Presiding Officer. These two new ferries will each be able to carry up to 450 passengers and 100 cars or 14 commercial vehicles, giving a combined 40% increase in vehicle and freight capacity on the Isla route. This represents an improvement for islanders and businesses and underlines the Scottish Government's commitment to our island communities and the ferry network. Does the First Minister share my view that questions like the one we have just heard reiterate the fact that the Tories are interested in politicking and not people when it comes to the ferry network? First Minister. Well, I I think Jenny Minto on that last point is absolutely right. Uh, but more importantly, I think people the length and breadth of Scotland, including in our island uh, communities, will draw their own conclusions uh, from the approach the Conservatives take to these issues. Uh, Jenny Minto, who of course uh, represents in this Parliament a number of islands, is absolutely right. The award of these contracts is uh, good news for islanders and island communities, and that's why it's important uh, that they are progressing well. I understand there'll be an update on steel cutting uh, and key laying expected in the coming days. So we will continue uh, to take decisions that are in the interest of those uh, living in our island communities, such as the decision we're talking about right now. Question number six.